Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I have a haul for you here. Um, I just purchased some more stickers, so I have some coming, so I should be able to do another haul shortly um, or in the near future. <laughs> um, but anyways, I have Honey Inked, Sadie Stickers $2 Tuesdays, Sadie Stickers Weekly Kits or you know new releases, Two Little Bees, and then Paper Trail Plans. So if you are interested, please stay tuned and please do not forget to like and subscribe. So I pulled out my 2022 Sadie Stickers Planner for size reference. Um, this is a custom order from Paper Trail Plans. I just want to show you guys the beautiful, stunning packaging. This is so, so pretty. It's a rose gold butterfly. And then here you just, um, she has her logo or they have their logo. All right, so here is what um, I picked up. I think I mentioned in a previous plan with me or other plan with me is that I got more custom scripts, um, but here is the freebie. I adore her freebies. I do love pulling in the extra months and the holidays, especially if it matches the um, foil color I'm using for that week. But these are so, so ornate and very detailed. And then I also love the extra deco of like hearts throughout. She does do that um, seasonally. And when I say she, I mean both um, the shop owners. I think it's Susie and Jess. So they're a mom and daughter shop and I love them. They're so adorable. Um, their spreads are killer also. So definitely recommend checking them out. But here are the scripts that I picked up. I already have a ton of these um, or like one of each and then two of, you know, a few. But I did want to grab some more simply because I have meetings like every single day at my job. Um, in my line of work as a project manager, meetings are very, very um, common <laughs> and it's just so time consuming, but um, definitely got this inspo to get this custom from Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan, hence why I jumped on the wagon and also got some too. But I, um, I don't know if hers look a little bit different, but I did ask Jess if she could push in the printed font in a little bit closer to the T. Um, I just preferred that look, but I'll go over it pretty quickly here. So one meeting, two meetings, I got two of those. <laughs> um, three meetings, four meetings. I think I got two of the four meetings, five meetings, and then I got two of the too many meetings, which is so funny in my opinion. And I think those will be really good to use if I just run out of um, a specific number. I think that'll be really cool. Um, but I just don't like how my handwriting looks when I write meetings or the word meetings. So um, a custom script is literally perfect for that. And then had to grab another Starbucks um, script just because I ran out. Speak speaking of Starbucks, I did just pick up Starbucks. So um, that is my Friday treat to myself, but I just love getting her scripts in black. Um, I do love their scripts, their holiday scripts in all foil colors, and I don't have a preference for like gold or traditional gold, but they do have both. Um, and I just like having both options just because every single shop's gold is very different and it's pretty drastic of a difference. <laughs> so I like having the options, but um, with that being said, I do love using actual um, black scripts. So I wanna show you. Oh, I wonder what that's from. Do you see that? There's some like black. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I don't know if it's from the printing on here. Anyways, I just noticed that. Um, But let's see, like I just love the look of black scripts because it just matches with my handwriting, right? So I love that. And then of course, I do like to have like foiled month scripts on the side. And I love having like foiled holidays um, just because I just like them to stand out and even like happy birthday scripts. I like those to stand out too, but anything pretty like generic on a weekly or daily basis, like meetings or day off, um, I'll typically just have those in black, but then I love like happy birthday in foil. So that's how I differentiate my scripts and it makes sense in my brain where month scripts, um, holidays, celebrations, I love on foil because it's kind of like that extra special thing. And then when it comes to, um, everyday stuff I do like having the black foil but anyways I went on a really long tangent there but I do like explaining my thought process because I do get messages from you guys asking like what is the logic behind a, like a lot of things that I do so there's that um, I do have a code with them as well it's Rachel 15 for 15% 15 off as always all of my codes will be linked below so check out the description but this is everything from paper trail plans so next I have two little bees two little bees has slowly slowly grown on to me and it's just now a shop I'm obsessed with. I absolutely adore her kits and Maria. Um, I've had the pleasure of getting to know Maria a little bit more as well. 
Um, but she just has such a wonderful like kit format. Um, and the reason I say that is because I do like the variety. Like you never, never know what you're going to get. I don't know why I'm saying words twice. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Um, but I do love that you're, you never know what you're going to get on every single sheet. Um, for every single kit, like it varies. And it just depends, I guess, on what she sees is, you know, trending or what she is in the mood for, I'm assuming. Like if she's just in the mood to put something else in there that that time or that design, just what kind of goes with the kit. So um, I think these two are very similar, if not um, the same, but I'm just saying based off of experience with several kits I've used in the past couple of months where um, every single kit had something different in it, which was really cool because most shops typically have like the exact same kit format unless they do a reformat but with hers there's a lot of um it's not consistent all the time which is fun in my opinion I do love that I love that um you just never know what to expect so you do always get the base like you're always going to get your full boxes your headers your checklist your washi and um you know like other fun fancy boxes etc but the fancy boxes are going to vary so on and so forth so I hope that makes sense. Um, but it came with this really pretty doily. I love keeping doilies like this to repackage stuff. They're super cute or to use whenever I journal. And then here is my freebie. Um, I'm pretty sure, oh, she threw in two, thank you. So I'm pretty sure this was the coffee, um, the coffee kit that I used. Um, but a lot of these florals do match that kit really cute and pretty so that's my freebie if you want if you want to just put my name in the notes to seller I do have a referral link for her as well below so um this kit is called Huge I think that's how you say it please don't come for me if I said it wrong I I don't know I feel like I always butcher it <laughs> but she has a variety of like I said so she will have like a clip art deco and then she'll also have like just a floral add-on so I think that's really cool so here are the two so gorgeous I love again the variety of the bouquets how some of them arch like it's just so pretty speaking of arches there are two there as well and then here is the clip art deco and those are add-ons and then here is the kit so pretty cozy comfortable content love that I really adore this. It's in rose gold. And then here is an extra bottom washi strip. Super pretty. Be careful. I've noticed that this isn't cut all the way to the edge. So like silly me, um, I was using one of her recent kits and I was trying to take it off and it wasn't coming off. So I just got my slice tool really quickly and um, I just like, you know, cut it there um, so I can take it off. But that's just something super minor. And then here you have three sets of headers. I adore her headers. I love that um, the confetti sprinkled foiling on the pattern here is not excessive and it's very subtle. Then you have like this solid line and then um, the bow and the dots. This is very traditional um, or like signature for her shop. I don't typically love them just because I, I prefer like a pattern and then like a line um, just depending on how I'm color blocking so it just really varies um, but they're still super pretty it's just not my preference of the three and then here are the checklists you have all of your sidebar goodies these arrows these are really pretty too I know she recently um, added these two like this one here it's got a foiled floral and then these are really pretty to layer with personally I can't write on that because it's got a pattern on the back um, or on it so I can't really see my writing but a foiled script would be pretty on that or layered with this or something like that you have some more clip art so it comes with that in the kit, but you can also get, you know, more with this add-on, a weekend script. You get two pieces of floral there. Then here you get some flags in a variety. I don't typically use flags. However, um, if I am needing like an extra quarter box and I trim it to be like a midi box so it doesn't take the full width of the column, I will use a flag that doesn't have too much of a pattern on it or something. And um, I'll use it kind of like a quarter, a quarter box. So it just depends on if I have extra boxes or something, but these are a little bit smaller than the quarter box that comes with the kit. And then adore these. This is what I mean. Like every single um, kit will sometimes have something different here where she might have a different fancy box or not have a clipboard. It just really varies. Um, here are her signature bow dividers. I love these washi strips that she's included. And then um, her icons really love the, the pattern and the florals and icons. You have your half boxes, third boxes and quarter boxes. I will say um, I wish she had more third boxes versus half boxes just because I personally don't use half boxes as often anymore. Um, 
I like my spreads to not be super boxy looking. I think I've talked about this in several videos or even lives that I've done on Instagram, but I do prefer having a variety of like, you know, fancy boxes like that. Um, let's see, along with these guys here. So it's just nice to have a variety because it can look really blocky. And plus this is so large. I don't typically mark um, a lot of things that are like large in my planner, if that makes sense, like a large event or something that took up a lot of time. But um, I know a lot of people still use half boxes, so I do understand that, but I just wish there were more third boxes. However, um, I will say that she does sell, let me see if I can pull it out here. I don't know if these are still in her shop, but I do have a ton. <laughs> I do have a ton of her boxes in different colors here. Um, a lot of them match some kits that she's had. So she does have more like third boxes here. I do love her quarter box size too, because I feel like her quarter box is slightly taller than a traditional quarter box, or maybe that's just my eyeballs. I don't know. Um, but I do love these sheets. So if you are interested, she does have those. I don't know if they're still in her shop right now or if they're um, available, but definitely check them out if you are interested. So those are the boxes. Here's the beautiful bottom washi. Again, you get the extension into the sidebar. Here is her signature bow. Again, with the signature bow and dot sprinkle throughout the bottom one. So pretty. I love her. Um, I just adore her day covers. And this is what I mean about it varies because um, with this one, this day cover is squared off, but there are some kits where she will kiss cut the day cover. So it kind of looks like a kiss cut swatch versus a traditional like box. So really love that. And then here is a stunning clipboard. I adore that because if you have like deco pieces or you can use like the florals and use that as a checklist, or you can just put this in your sidebar decoratively. I don't personally use my sidebar functionally at all. So I just love the look of the clipboard. And then here is the quarter box. I love that detail. It's like a double line. So you got a solid one and then a thinner one, really pretty. And then thanks Maria for including two of these. Um, love this. So you get extra fancy boxes and I have slowly, you know, fallen in love with this. So there are times too where she'll have this, um, smaller box here but it will have a pattern like this so it just really varies that's another thing that I've noticed is sometimes she'll have um, different patterns in these boxes these fancy boxes that she includes these are pretty consistent with her um oh see this is different too so normally she'll just have a circle scallop here if I remember correctly and then she'll have a heart and then the square but this time she put like this really pretty wreath circle with the flowers that match the kit. Um, so it's not a scallop circle. So that's also something that's slightly different. So that's what I mean about even though she has the main structure and base of her format, she does include different things here and there, which is really cool. And they're very like small um, differences. So if you don't really pay attention too much, you might not even notice. Um, but I certainly notice because I'm like obsessed with her kit. So um and then she'll like switch up these boxes here too, but I love them. And she started including these really gorgeous um, floral trims. So they're already cut for you. One major thing that um, I am not a huge fan of is whenever florals have a very large white border around them. And I'll show you a difference. So here there is like a thicker white border around the florals. And then on this one, it's super, super kiss cut. So I think it just really varies. Um, I know that it is incredibly hard. I can't ever put stickers down properly. Um, but I know it's incredibly hard to perfect that and to, um, this, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm trying to like talk and put this down. Um, sorry. <laughs> I know it's really hard to completely like kiss cut florals, um, just because I, I'm friends with shop owners and I know this, but it is definitely something that I just noticed like this one is a lot better right like it's not that thick of a white border but yeah I mean sometimes you can also cut it out with an exacto knife yourself or a slice tool um, I'll probably just trim down the bottom white border but it just really depends I wonder if her other florals are like that on this sheet yeah this sheet is so so good it's a lot better on this one too so it just really varies I'm assuming um, I don't own a shop I don't use any of these tools or machines so I have no idea what I'm talking about half the time. However, I'm just telling you as a customer and someone who plays with stickers um, on a regular basis of like what I prefer and what I've noticed and what I like. So there's that. So 
this kit is called Huge. Um, I am trying to be more intentional about like talking about the details of kits in my hauls. That is something that I received as feedback from um, a few people in my DMs, like asking if I can go into more depth with my um, like just like my critiques or opinions and um, likes and dislikes, etc., for kits and um, just the format in greater detail. And I totally appreciate that feedback. Um, it makes a lot of sense, right? Because someone watching this video is probably looking to purchase as well. Um, I know not everybody, but I know that that can be very beneficial. So I'm going to try to be more mindful of that moving forward. Um, but anyways, this kit is called Huge. I hope I'm saying that right. Good gracious. Um, this next kit I'm obsessed with. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lauren also has a freebie that matches this kit. So this kit is called Strawberry Fields. It's such a perfect spring kit. It's so gorgeous. And these colors are typically not something that I would go for, just like all the pinks and reds. Um, and I think Tay was talking about this too, but there's green. So it balances it out and I love that. So here is Lauren's freebie, which I adore. It matches the actual kit. Really love that. Lauren's been having a lot of freebies that match kits. So definitely put a name in the notes to seller if you're interested. Wow, I can't talk. Definitely put her name in the notes to seller if you're interested. Um, and here are the deco add-ons. So there are two arches on one of the sheets. These are kiss cut pretty nicely too. And then you also get like an individual flower, a strawberry, and a butterfly. So that's cute. And then I'm presuming this last page is, yep, here is the actual like clip art that comes with it. I love playing around with clip art too now. So I used to just really go ham with florals, but I do like incorporating some of these individual pieces in my sidebar, so, or in my day cover um, um, area as well as my sidebar. I forgot what to say for a second there. So same format when it comes to the base here. So we have your full boxes and then this washi strip down here. This is so stunning. Like, I love that. I love how um, something that I completely adore from shops when they do this is whenever a full box has like different patterns and it's done very well. I know Simply Watercolor Co. does that a lot. And I also love this detail of this trim. I just think it's such a cute full box. It's typically my favorite and I'll put it in like the center or something or the sidebar since it is kind of busy. But I do love that. And this is so cute. So pretty. It's very whimsical. I love that. Um, I know Tay was going crazy about this kit too. So I can't wait to see her spread. And then here you have all of your headers, sidebar goodies, checklist, some fancy boxes, and clip art. Um, also, the biggest difference here is if she does have extra floral here, it is foiled versus the add-on sheet. So keep that in mind. And then here you have some flags, icons, your bow dividers. Again, same format here with all of your boxes. And then I feel like a lot of her clip art pieces in the full boxes aren't super large, so you can cover them with another icon or florals. And then here's her bottom washi. Oh, this is so cute. I love the strawberry. I love that. So it's like every other is something different. You have a colored strawberry, a sunflower, the foiled strawberry, which is so cute. Um, and then you have like the butterfly. So that's really adorable. These colors together, this watercolor, it's just stunning. And then these are just traditional box um, day covers. They're not kiss cut. And this is what I was talking about. Um, so let me pull out the other kit. So here we have like the circle scallop and in this kit you have this wreath. So that's the biggest difference I was talking to you about earlier is um, it just varies, you know, and also here how she'll have this colored fancy box versus this one is just white and open, which I actually do prefer this because now like I can't write in here or if I use like a script because I typically use these small ones to mark my meetings. That's just something that I've noticed. And like here you'll notice that these um, quarter boxes aren't in this format, but she included more of these scallop quarter boxes. So again, just a slight difference. And you also get some florals up here if I didn't mention that already. So yeah, I love this. I adore this page so much. I really appreciate that she includes this as an add-on. And this one is kiss cut a lot, a lot more. So I do prefer that. That's really good. So yeah, and then I adore these boxes. I really wish and want, um, so Maria, if you're listening, <laughs> I really prefer these like midi boxes, um, this sizing for this like um, midi third box with the floral. I do prefer that over these squared ones. They're both really good, but I would love um, more of these just because I just, I prefer them so much more and they don't take up, you know, more space um, height wise. 
So that's just my preference. But again, everybody is very different and wants and needs different things. So again, thank you for including two of these, Maria. Really love them. So this kit is called Strawberry Fields. I'm so excited. Um, but you guys know with my color palette, um, I definitely am a huge, huge fan of this kit. It's just so pretty. It's rose gold. And I, I've been really adoring blue kits lately. They're just so good. Um, winter does that to me. So again, this is Lauren's freebie if you're interested um, for it to match the Strawberry Fields one. And I don't know where my freebie went. Um, I think I lost it, but that's fine. Um, oh, here it is. <laughs> Here's my freebie with two little bees. Um, I should be updating it shortly. Um, but anyways, that is everything. Be sure to check out my referral link below to save some money. All right, guys. So next I have Honey Inked and this beautiful packaging. Always adore it. So a lot of these are restocks and winter items. Um, I don't even know if my updated freebie is in here. So let me check. Let me go through these. Hold on. <laughs> nope, my updated freebie is not in here. So with that being said, <laughs> I should probably go look for it. Anyways, I actually don't know if I have it. Um, I have to kind of dig through my things. However, um, I should have a winter freebie. Definitely check out my highlights on Instagram. It's located on there. And or... Um, just check out her website. I'm pretty sure she um, has it listed there as um, a freebie that you can purchase. So all of my previous freebies in the past, you can actually purchase them as well in all foil colors. So definitely check that out. So like I said, these are some restocks just because I go through them so much. And then also some of her new winter things. Um, unfortunately, my original package got lost in the mail, so I never received it. So this this is why this is delayed. But you guys know I typically will haul like winter stuff pretty early. So kind of bummed about that. But anyways, just glad that it's here and it's fixed. And I can't wait to use her stuff because I'm so obsessed with a lot of her new dainty clusters and deco. It's just so good. But you have seen this before. I want to show you the difference um, in her traditional gold versus her light gold. Light gold is definitely more ivory. I'm obsessed with her rose gold. I got a question recently asking if her rose gold was super pinky um, or kind of like a copper. And to be honest with you, I think her rose gold is such a perfect medium. I think it's not overly pinky and it's not overly copper. It's just so good. So here's the black on the right and then of course silver. And these are the Snowflake Half Dividers. I adore these. I love them so much. Her details are just so good. And then these are some of the new things I'm in love with. So here we have the Tiny Snowflake Flourishes. It's probably even hard to see. Um, but look how dainty those are. Like I did not know she could go any daintier, but she did. So let me show you some of her old ones because I have some in front of me. So as you can see, I use them a lot, but these are the tiny dot clusters, the variety one. And this is one of my main ones that I cut up a lot. These are the tiny dot clusters number two. These were one of my favorites because I love the variety of the like boulder dot and then the other daintier ones. And she made that even more dainty. Like how <laughs> you're so amazing, Amanda, truly like this is so good. These are the tiny snow flourishes or flurries, sorry, and I just love the variety. Like, it's so tiny. It's so pretty and so, so good. Um, so well foiled for it to be this dainty and tiny. Like, I'm looking at it in person and I don't see any any mistakes. So that's amazing. Here's her light gold. It's probably hard to see on camera, so I do apologize. And then here is the um, rose gold and traditional gold and then black on the left. So really stunning. I am obsessed with those. They're so good. All right, so next we have the tiny snow clusters. Again, um, let me, I don't even think I have any of the snow. Actually, here, let me just show you here because I do use them all the time in my plan with me. But these are some of her OG snow clusters. Let me find them. Um, oh, like right here. That's one of her OG snow clusters. And I would cut them up, you know, to like actually fit um, some areas. But she made even tinier ones, which are so gorgeous. It's just so well done. Um, here it is for sizing. It's so tiny. I adore it. Um, and I again, I love the variety on here. Um, I will probably cut them up and I might not even need to because they're so, so tiny as it is. I might cut up the small individual snowflakes if I can though, just because I do like um, foiling some of my icons with like a tiny little snowflake. So those are gorgeous. I adore them. And then next here we have, these are the tiny pine branches. These are so small. 
Um, I don't know if you can see, but they're so, so they're so, so small. I don't know why I'm whispering, like, because it's so tiny. I'm whispering. I don't know. Um, again, she has a lot of variety, like branches and florals and things like that in her shop. So I love how much she's able to jam pack on one tiny, like $2 Tuesday sheet here. And um, these aren't $2, by the way. I'm just, I just like to say that for size reference because like, for example, here's a $2 Tuesday sheet from Crafts by Towie. It's pretty comparable. Um, and then here's one from Sadie Stickers. So that way you guys can know the size reference and how much she's able to add on these sheets. And the foiling is just so good. I literally blown away, Amanda. So good. These are the tiny pine branches. And then next, these I adore. I can't wait to use these. These are the tiny snowflake drops. They're so elegant and so well done so dainty i don't think i can zoom you guys in anymore but um here we go i'm gonna just go closer to my camera look at that it's just so good <laughs> it's literally glistening like it's just so beautiful i hope we can all take a moment to just appreciate this because it's just so pretty and um, there's a slight difference in height, or they're probably all the same because she's just alternating it slightly, but this is so pretty. Like, it's just, it's so good. These are the tiny snowflake drops. I hope you had the pleasure of getting those because they're so pretty, even prettier in person. And speaking of, um, these are the dot banners. I'm trying to find my OGs here. Hold on. I just have like stacks of stickers. Don't mind me, you know, not embarrassed here. One little bit. Um, <laughs> I can't find them. Darn it. Okay. Um, but if you guys remember, hmm, let me try to find them. You know what? I can't find them. But if you guys remember the original, the OG dot banners, um, they looked very similar to like this, but they were all one size and, or they were different sizes, but they kind of, um, had a different flow to them. I don't know. Um, but love these. So these are the dot banners number two. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to look for the OGs. Give me one second. Okay. Honestly, the OGs were right next to me, but this is the OG. Yeah, every single one is a different size, but it kind of has this flow where it's consistent and looks clean and, you know, like cohesive, I guess. Um, but then these are a little bit different. There's a variety and I love them. They're so cute. I love how they each arch differently. <laughs> this is so pretty. I think this one is my favorite. They're so gorgeous. Um, I can't wait. I'm going to ask her if she'll make like longer versions of these kind of like string lights because that would be stunning. But here they are. And you know, she coined them dot banner because that's what I was calling them. I had no idea what they were called when they came on these sheets here. Basically, I started using them on my trees like to decorate them as ornaments and cutting them up. And I had no idea what to call them. So I called them dot banners. And the name just stuck, even though it's kind of a silly name in my opinion, but it works. <laughs> so here are the, um, I don't think, oh, these are the Christmas uh, clear deco sheets. These have been around for so, or quite some time now. I don't want to say so long, but for quite some time. And you don't even need to use this for Christmas, in my opinion. I think these are perfect for like winter, the pine branches, um, these like trees. They're just so perfect to use throughout winter. So it's a really good sheet with all the different like, clusters and snowflakes and stars so really gorgeous love that so that was a restock and here's another restock too um these are the small snowflakes i adore these so these are the small full snowflakes this is like gold i'm showing you it's so gorgeous wow again that foiling is just it's so good it's so good so there's that that was a restock. Here's um, another restock as well. These are the tiny snowflakes. And when I tell you guys that these are even smaller than these tiny snowflakes on the left here, like these clusters are way, way smaller. So that's just a good size reference if you have that sheet. But these are really, really good. I adore these. They're some of my favorites. Again, a restock. I have so many of these that I went through so quickly, especially because I use snowflakes like crazy. And these are large enough that I even cut them in half to like flush them to the side of the columns or a box or something. But I adore these. They're so pretty. And then basically, 
Here is the Snowflake dividers. What she did, the first sticker that I showed you guys are the trims or the halves. She basically just cut these guys in half. Um, so the work is already done for you. Um, like you can see here, there's that cut in the middle, but these also come in just a full divider. So you can also buy this and then trim it yourself if you want to take that chance. Personally, I would probably ruin it and foil would go everywhere, but um, there are both options if you're interested. So these are gorgeous. Again, foiling is like, wow. I, no words, no words. Oh, okay, so here are the original clusters I was talking about earlier. Um, I actually have them to show for here. Let's see, let me find the ones I was just holding. So here are the tiny snow clusters and these are snow clusters. So they're both pretty tiny in my opinion. I just think these are, you know, there's more of a, of a variety and there's more on a sheet because it's a full quarter sheet versus this one. But these are just individually um, kiss cut in smaller clusters. So I think that saves me some time too because I was cutting these guys up <laughs> to fit in certain areas. So I do love that. But I think that's what makes it fun is cutting them up. This is so gorgeous. Look how dainty this is. I love the individual flurries and dots inside. So that was a restock. Um, a few of these next ones are definitely re restocks as well. So <clears throat> here is the half snowflake. So these are quite large. They're pretty much the same size as her as her mandala. So they do take up the full width and they're really gorgeous. Love them. So those are the half snowflakes. And then next we have the large snowflakes. So these are full size. Um, basically, it's pretty much these guys, right? So again, you can totally get these and just cut them in half yourself. Um, if you want to risk um, slicing through them, that's up to you. I will say in, in my experience with cutting through um, Amanda's sheets, I don't get any like foil um, pieces at all. Like it doesn't break. Um, I've experienced that with some shops before where I'll cut through something and, and the foil will, will crack. Or if I lift it up, I think it's really dependent on what kind of paper it's on too. Honestly, again, I don't know. Um, this is not something that I am an expert in. It's just based off of my experience in using stickers. So there's that. These are the full ones. I love this. I did just recently use one of these guys in the corner. Let me show you. Oh no. So I used a small one and we'll probably get to it shortly, but I did put one in the corner here and cut it up or cut off the um, edges where it hung. So there are those. And then next we have, there are so many sheets here, sorry. So next are the half mini snowflakes. Really pretty. You get so much on these sheets. My favorite ones are definitely these guys here. But whenever I do have more like ornate kits that I'm working with, I do love using these two. Just so good. All right, so that was a restock. And then, um, oh yeah, so <laughs> I forgot that I grabbed these two. So um, these are the half meadow um, dividers. Again, I think she had a full sheet of these as like one full divider, but then she trimmed it. And I, I think they're just so beautiful. Um, love using these to trim like the header and the full box um, or using for day covers. It's just such a pretty sticker. And I love the way she has the florals kind of just like, you know, meshing with the leaves, like that tiny, tiny little leaf right there. It's just so pretty. And all right, so next, I think she just threw in some, um, oh, these are these snow banners. So these are new as well. Um, they're a little bit different. So they're similar to those dot banner number twos, but these have little snowflakes in them. So here's the black to show you, but there are tiny little snowflakes as well. So love that, love that detail. Really, really pretty. So that's a new one. And then here, let's see. I think, um, oh, I think I picked up two of the tiny snow flurries because I will definitely go through these so fast. If you guys watch my plan with me, you guys know that I go through these guys like crazy. Um, I'm constantly like foiling things up, um, like heading, heading little deco um, embellishments and like dots and snowflakes or whatever seasonal cluster thing I have everywhere. They are literally everywhere. I, I I like white space to a certain extent, but then I love the look, especially when it comes to like winter. I think it just makes sense to make it look like snow is everywhere, especially if it's a very snowy kit, um, like this one, like wintry kit. I just felt like it's appropriate, but um, I was actually just looking at my planning style and 
I've come a long way, like even the slightest little bit of white space bothers me. <laughs> um, and I like to cover it up with something simple like a dot um, or a piece of foiled deco, which in my opinion, it doesn't clutter it too much. Um, and I know everyone's preference and style is different, but for my for my taste and what I prefer, I don't think it actually clutters it too much because it's still very white spacey, right? So I, I'm able to balance that with the different kinds of boxes that I use. So there's that. And then um, in addition, I of course had to grab some more. Um, I think I forgot to grab an extra rose gold of these um, tiny snow clusters. So maybe whenever I start running out, I'll get more. But yeah, love these guys. That's why I got more of those. So that is everything from Honey Inked. Um, be sure to check her out. She has beautiful things. If you guys have ever had the pleasure of shopping with her, you guys know that her foiling is truly, truly impeccable. Um, I have shop owners and friends telling me like, I don't know how she does it, but it's just so good. But anyways, that is everything. Again, my code is Rachel15 for 15% 15 off if I didn't mention that already. I do have a deluxe winter freebie with her. So if you put my name in the notes of seller, you will get that. It is in default silver. Um, but if you want gold, light gold, rose gold, and or even black, you can specify that in the notes to seller to receive my deluxe freebie in that foil color. So be sure to, to do those two things. Otherwise, um, you'll get the default if you don't um, mention my mention your foil color preference. So that's Honey Inked. Again, Rachel 15 for 15% 15 off. This shop is Sadie Stickers. You guys know how much I adore Alicia and her shop. So here's my freebie, Rachel 20 for 20% off. Um, we will be changing our freebies um, shortly, so definitely stay tuned for that. And so these are restocks. Let me get into these first. So these are restocks. I fell in love with using these um, after I went through all of my $2 versions of this, but they're so good. I love the very simple and just elegant look of the dots, the two different size dots. So I got it on full quarter sheets and I also got it on the transparent matte paper, which I definitely do prefer in addition to these. So this is the Dangle Deco 4. Again, three classic foil colors. And then here is the Dangle Deco 1. Love them. And then I picked up her, um, what's it called? Her Butterfly $2 Tuesday that she had recently. And if you guys know, I've always talked about how I'm not like the biggest fan of butterflies, but Alicia killed it. <laughs> she did. And that speaks volumes, you know, like I, I don't typically get animals or anything, bugs in my spreads or anything like that. Um, or I won't get like supplemental deco to do that, um, or to add to my kits, but I just, I couldn't resist. Like her stuff was so pretty. And so here are the vertical butterfly corners. And I did haul this on her YouTube channel when she did do this release and I put it on a box and it looks so, so pretty. So if you are interested, um, let me find one. Let's see here. So if you wanted to like put this on a box, I think that's like a terrible example, Rachel, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, please hold, let me try to find a box. I really do want to do this. This is really killing me. Um, hold on, hold, please hold. All right, so for example, this box here, if you wanted to, like use it on here that would look really pretty and like lay it down i'm not going to actually do that because i don't want to ruin my sticker but um like if you wanted to put this on the corner of a box or something that would look so good this would look better on like a proper here like on the box like this that would look so so pretty yeah that would look so good oh stunning okay i'm making a mess here guys i'm making a mess please go back on here properly because i will cry oh no Listen, I might play with stickers all the time, but I'm truly, this is transparent. It's like really hard to see where to put this down. I hope you guys are enjoying my misery right now. Um, <laughs> okay, so these are the vertical butterfly corners. Again, you can even use it on the sheet itself um, or put it on a box. It's so good. By the way, it's beautiful. And then here we have the horizontal butterfly corner. So same concept, but instead it's horizontal. It's not vertical. So there's that. Oh, that is so pretty. Wow. I can't wait to use this like above day covers. That's good. Wow. Literally, I cannot wait. Probably going to use these intentionally for that purpose. And then here we have the dotted butterfly dividers. And these are really intricate. I saw Tay use this before and I just fell in love with it. It's just, it's so intricate and detailed and I love how dainty it looks. So that's really pretty. I hope you guys cannot hear my stomach growling, but I'm starting to get hungry. So <laughs> and then here is the butterfly vertical divider. So pretty. Wow. So vertical divider. See, like I just, I, I love that you can 
I'm, I have so many ideas already going through my head. Um, probably even like using a floral. Let's see. Let's play around with this, shall we? Um, oh my gosh, I don't want to tear my freebie. You guys, I'm like trying not to ruin my... Because when florals have so many like different pieces hanging off, like I feel like you can totally ruin it. Um, but for example, if you were to use this here and put like a floral like that, that would look so good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like that would look so pretty. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Please tell me I'm right. Comment below and tell me I'm right. <laughs> Anywho, I just feel like so many ideas are popping through my head right now. So there is that. And then this one is so pretty too. This is the Butterfly Vertical Cluster. And it's it's so pretty. Like again, I she nailed it. I, I don't really care for butterflies, um, but this was so good. And here's the Butterfly Mini Vertical Cluster. So here's the large one. And then here's the mini on the left so you guys can see the difference. And then the standard like mini swoops, but in the butterfly version, these are perfect for corners. And then the butterfly mini garland. I love this because I do adore like this larger one and then a smaller one in the middle and she alternates it. But this larger one isn't too large. I think it's so good to like layer two of those on top of each other. So there's that. And all of this is on transparent matte. I prefer it because it's so much easier when it comes to photographing. So here's the butterfly mini deco. These are so tiny. I'm excited. They're kiss cut. They're so good. Um, for all my spring spreads, they're probably going to be everywhere. I have completely been changed um, to enjoying butterflies. So good job. <laughs> Here is the butterfly line divider. Again, I saw Tay use this. And then recently I just saw Shanice do, um, Shanice of Planners and Tacos do like a journaling spread using some of the gathered layer stickers with this. It just, it looks so beautiful together. Um, again, just so elegant and dainty. And I think that's probably why I never was a fan of butterflies because in my experience, when I've seen butterfly deco, it's been very like bold. So I do adore how dainty um, Alicia made hers. Here's the butterfly layered garland. Again, love, I love me a pre-layered garland because it takes away the work. And sometimes I don't have time for that, you know? or the patients. So here is the butterfly halves. So these are interesting for me because I'm a little bit intimidated with using these. Um, I don't know, I might end up using them in my day covers. I think that'll be really fun, maybe even my sidebar. Not really sure how I plan to use this, um, but when it comes to things like this, I get intimidated in, like using them throughout the spread. So we shall see. So here are the butterfly garlands. Again, these aren't pre-layered, but I love having both options because sometimes the way the pre-layered ones don't work with you know, the situation I have. So I like having those. And then these are so stunning. These are the dainty butterfly garland dangles. Again, there's a variety on here. These are perfect for the corners, like right here. That's so pretty. Wow. But I just love how intricate this is. Like this one right here, it doesn't have an extra swoop on the side. So it just, it would look so good on a box. All right. Next is the butterfly drop number two. You get some individual butterflies here. And again, this is on transparent, so it's gonna look so pretty. These look so gorgeous. I do like having scenes and stuff like this at the bottom of um, like my columns. So to kind of finish it off, it just looks really pretty. And I think it can be a lot to have them on every single column. So sometimes I'll do like every other or maybe just like um, one on each half of my, my spread. So that's really pretty. And there's only, you know, four on a sheet anyway. And then these I call little bridges because <laughs> To me, it looks like a bridge. I will never unsee it. Um, so I'm going to keep calling them that. But this is the Butterfly Double Garland. Again, very dainty. Um, very similar to the other one I showed you that was really dainty as well. So pretty. These are gorgeous. And then here is a Butterfly Deco. So sorry, anytime I see butterflies or moths or anything like in this kind of lineup, I think of like um, like butterflies that are like on display for like an exhibit or something. I don't know. Is that just me? Maybe it is. Um, but it's just so pretty. I love the larger ones, the medium-sized ones, and then the really, really tiny ones. These are going to be so pretty. You can put them anywhere. So really gorgeous. And then these are really interesting too. These are the butterfly cluster dividers. So meaning they are kiss cut to the butterfly, which is tremendous, honestly. And this would look so pretty um, just anywhere. I, I have so many ideas. I can't wait to use that. And then... <clears throat> 
And then this is the Butterfly Cluster Deco. I've said this time and time again, I adore Alicia's cluster anything. So like, for example, here are her bow clusters and she'll have like themed clusters of like snowflakes, um, flowers, etc. depending on whatever theme it is or season. And I just, they're so good. I end up cutting up some of the dots too to use individually. It just really depends on what I'm feeling for that spread or what I need. And then here are the assorted Butterfly Deco. I love that they're flying in different directions. There's tiny ones. It's just so well done, so pretty. And I, I adore variety when it comes to deco. I just think um, that's the best um, time to have a variety sheet is when it comes to deco because it makes your spreads look a lot more um, like cohesive and fluid at the same time. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not making any sense. So um, only halfway through my coffee and I'm I haven't eaten, so there's that. <laughs> but that is everything from this $2 Tuesday Sadie stickers. The last thing I have to show you are actual kits from her. So let's get into that. So I have several kits here. Okay, so I got myself together. Um, these are the kits that I picked up from Sadie stickers. Super beautiful. We have a um, perfect, in my opinion, a perfect St. Patrick's kit. I think I used the same like clip art or a St. Patrick's kit from her shop last year too. And I just really love how like beautiful and elegant they look. And it doesn't look very like like childish in my opinion. It just looks really pretty. And then we have two really beautiful spring kits. Um, here I am using purple with gold, but um, I think it's just so well done. I still am in love with purple with rose gold, but you know, um, I can't get everything I want all the time. <laughs> I can just hear Tay saying, uh, but I can. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anyways, um, here we go. All right, so here is the luck kit. Um, I picked up the the add-on boxes, just two of them. I know I say just like it's nothing, but anyways, I picked up two because I really do adore these swatches and these boxes. I have been falling in love with this shape so much. It's so good. I thought I would be more like into these um, midi scallop uh, rectangles here, but I have been like really into these guys here. Um, I do love the circles. And then also I've been into this too, because I recently just did a m like January monthly where like, let's see here, I actually trimmed down a, let me zoom in. I trimmed down one of her third midi boxes. So it had less of a white border. And I've been really enjoying putting that over this just because I think it breaks it up a little bit um, and it adds some foil and a little bit more to it because it gives it kind of a proper border with that foiled line. So I do like that look. And I think I did it also like here. So, so yeah, um, I got two of those. Let me show you guys the floral deco so how to grab four of these because I'm crazy um, but honestly whenever I look at a deco sheet I really like I, I break down the anatomy of it like I know it sounds crazy but I, I will look at one sheet and say okay well how many like trims can I make out of these larger bouquets because I will use them for my day cover section as well as the bottom section of my columns um, and maybe some pieces in my sidebar so I literally break it down that way and then I do love her individual greenery because I'll sometimes put these together and make like little um like floral bouquets myself and I've been doing that mostly in my side in my day cover section here too where I won't actually use like full trims I'll use like the individual um flower here with like a little leaf um or greenery so I've been switching it up and so I think about all of those things when I'm picking up several sheets of deco now because every single deco sheet like floral deco sheet varies from shop to shop from kit to kit it's just never exactly the same um because i know it depends on the clip bar and it depends on you know it just depends on the design so i definitely break it down to that so since there are only like a few uh, two four six larger like bouquets here i think about that and how i can cut it up so hence why i i guess i elected to get four because i'll probably end up you know needing more of these larger pieces so it just really really depends and i'll show you the other kits and their florals to kind of give you an example of what i'm talking about um but oh that's really zoomed out okay um here is the luck kit it's so pretty so you get all of your nine full boxes this is so gorgeous wow and then you get quarter boxes down here which i adore and love how simple those are and then your half scallops and you get um some third boxes here and then her third boxes vary too where she'll have some um th there will be this notched detail there some of them have a different like notch detail 
it just all varies and some of her boxes have this scallop detail at the bottom so I, I do love and adore that she offers a variety so it depends on your style and preference and it gives the spread a different look which is really cool so you have three half boxes six third boxes which you guys know is like good by me quarter boxes i love her rectangular mini boxes they're so so pretty so if you want like the different boxes on here i i love and i love the options i know this kit has like a full sheet of boxes but the add-on page has just these different boxes that are so pretty um that just make your kit look even better in my opinion or your spread look even better so it's just fun to play around with the different ones um because i know with me when i when i like sit down to plan it's it's so fun and it's exciting it's like me at a playground and i don't know which like set of slides or swings i'm going to go on like i just it just really varies um i don't know if i'm going to want to use this that week or if i'm going to want to use more fancy boxes and pull from my collection so it really just depends on my mood right so that might have been a terrible analogy so please don't come for me um and then these boxes down here these squares are also notched in corners as well so here we have your three headers you get the confetti one the beautiful confetti and patterned one which is one of my favorites and then the line so like i've said before these two are like my go-to's whenever shops offer headers um i sometimes just crave just patterned headers without any foil too um but yeah here we have the sidebar the sidebar things and i love what she did here it just looks so elegant with the florals you get your trackers flags again some more boxes so there are so many boxes love these guys here too they're like the perfect mini box size and layering shapes and then your checklist and then the last page we have the um sorry it was upside down we have the bottom washi and the extension into the sidebar love that and then your day covers i adore her scallop headers as well as her new divider trims here they're so much thinner and i love them and then she also maximized this space by adding some more boxes so there are a ton of boxes and here's another add-on so this is the journaling add-on and i will also so here's another thing so when i'm looking at like the um, floral sheet like what it's got to offer and what I plan to use with it so I'm strategic with how many I'm purchasing um, I do the same when it comes to like the journaling page like with this because the florals are so pretty and I love these additional like fancy boxes with the florals there I might not use the fancy box or I might it depends but um, I see I don't like the contrast of this like pink with the floral so I might put like a square box um, let me see if I can find one like I might put like a square box or something on top of that right so there's that option or I can trim these ends and give myself a trim or trim here because like that's really small I'm not going to be able to write in that or um, I might be able to put like the month script or something depending on what I'm going to do with the spread but I will probably put like a midi box there or something and then here I, I love the clip bar it's fun this is also really perfect if you have a monthly um, spread that matches this and you can use these larger pieces in your monthly section or if you like to journal hence the journaling sheet right with these um so here are the washi like torn pages i have used this before in the sidebar so i've i know that some people have asked like how do you use that in your in your um weekly spreads so i've used it here before um i don't know if you guys can even see that but i have added it to my sidebar and kind of made my own little scene down here and i love how that turned out it looks like these were kind of like coming out of the of the um, columns um so you can totally use this in your weekly spreads you don't have to only use this for journaling i think it just depends on how creative you want to you want to be and like what you can do but i will say i always am trimming this excess white border um it's pretty kiss cut as as it is but i like it even more kiss cut so it's completely flushed here so i'll just get my ruler and an exacto knife and just trim that extra white um border so um but that's an example of how to use it really pretty so there is the luck kit along with all of the add-ons um really pretty this is in gold foil if i did not mention that already um but this is going to be my fourth no fourth of july good gracious <laughs> excuse me um this is going to be my saint patrick's day kit wow that was really embarrassing it's okay it's fine we're all here we're all learning <laughs> so here is my freebie again by the way um but this kit is called muscari i think i'm saying that right i probably am not but it's okay this is in gold and it's purple and it's just it's so 
pretty like the fuzzy foil I think is it's the fuzzy foil that got me and all of the watercolor in the full boxes it's just it's so well done well done all right my tummy is growling all right um here are the box add-ons and again I love these so much that I wanted to get more um even this wood grain detail is so pretty that even if I cover it with like a a box a foiled box you'll still see that wood grain peeping from the back and I, I just love these um boxes they're so good so those are the box add-ons and again here is the floral deco and, I, and like I've said before I, I look at this and determine how I'm going to use it and there are three large bouquets so I was like okay well I'm going to need more so hence I got four um because there are only three large ones and I'm going to need a lot more for my date covers and the bottoms of my columns when I trim stuff so really pretty I adore I, like I'm so in love with this set of florals it's just so pretty and just so well done all right, so here's the kit. I won't go into too much detail just because it is the same format, but it's so pretty, a perfect spring kit in my opinion. Oops, little fuzz at the bottom. And also one thing I might have not mentioned is I like that her boxes are pretty simple. So even though they're foiled with a little bit of like these hearts here or they have some florals, it's so small that you can cover it with an icon or another floral. So really love that. This fuzzy foil is getting me. I love it so much. Really pretty. That's like the only time I'm okay with foil on um, patterned headers is like when it's this fuzzy foil. I, I don't mind the confetti, but sometimes it's it's a lot um, depending on like how my spread's looking. And then here is the beautiful bottom washi. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear my stomach growling. I Wow. Um, you probably can't hear it, but you know, I can hear it and that's enough. <laughs> All right, so this is the last kit from Sadie Stickers and actually the last kit for this haul. Um, this is so pretty. I I saved this for last because it's it's stunning. I, I have no words. I literally texted Alicia and was like, tomorrow is so good. Like it's, I have no, I have, I have no idea what to say because I will likely make this a double box scene or actually I don't know if I can because this is my, this is the script full box that I'm gonna put in the sidebar up here. Um, and then I also don't want a full box right next to it. Hmm, question mark. We'll see how I end up deciding that because whenever I do double boxes, I'll actually trim this middle section that divides the two and I'll attach it <laughs> in this little sliver there to make it like a scene. So we'll see what I end up doing. But this is so pretty. I just, okay, this is in, sorry, I don't know my colors. This is in gold foil. So all of these kits were gold foil, which is pretty appropriate for spring. I feel like, um, Actually, I don't know. Yeah, spring. Okay, wait. So winter is typically silver. Spring and summer is usually gold. And then like fall is rose gold. Okay, I had to say that out loud to understand myself. Um, again, two add-ons for the boxes. So good. This teal color or blue color, I'm going to have to play around with it because these are three very different colors. You have like this green, this pink, and then you have this blue. So I'm going to have to see how I want to balance it out depending on how many boxes um, I have, but she does a really good job at including like several, um, like balancing out the different colors in different boxes, if that makes sense. Because oftentimes, um, if I, if a shop doesn't include enough of boxes in like one color, then I'm like stuck with three of those boxes to spread throughout the whole week. I don't know if that makes sense or if you know what I'm talking about, but that can definitely mess up my spread. Um, and I, I will sit there and hoard that box. So I have to be super intentional with where I put it in my spread. So these are the box add-ons and you guys, <laughs> this is so good. I, I love how like PC it looks because some of the florals are white. Um, but it's just so pretty. Like, like this is like a really gorgeous, like wedding color palette. It's just, it's so, so good. This burnt, yellow oh yeah or mustard yellow did I say burnt yellow I was saying burnt yellow like burnt orange okay this this mustard yellow good gracious Rachel but again looking at this there are four larger bouquets right so hence why I got four pieces because I definitely will need more to trim uh the day covers and the bottom of my columns and I do love these more you know PC individual florals and leaves are just so good especially with this kit because I'm assuming it came with a lot of like floral clip art so that that's why I think this is just so stunning because they're all so different um and I think that's just so pretty all right so before I forget here is the journaling add-on 
And I elected to get this one for this kit versus the Muscari kit um, because again, the florals, if I wanted to, I could cover this with a circle. Let me see if I can find one. Like if I wanted to use like a circle box and layer it on top, like I could do that, right? Um, oh, that would be so pretty. But I would probably have to find a smaller circle or, 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 hold on. Hello, Rachel. I could use a circle from this and make it look like that. Let me use my tweezers so my hand's not in the way and make it look like that. Like that would look so pretty as well. It just really depends on what your style is. And oftentimes, okay, I don't think I can put this back. Yeah, whatever. That's just gonna have to be enough. Um, <laughs> like oftentimes like this green clashes in my opinion with the florals. So I'll typically cover it with something. But this is the journaling sheet, like I said. So there's this large arch. There are several like washi strips here. Um, and individual pieces. I love these clip art pieces because they're not too big, but like this like house, I can put on the sidebar. Like it would look really cute. And again, same with the torn paper look. Um, I am ex so excited to use these little box or uh, circles here on top of those or use foiled ones. Um, it's gonna be so pretty. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to use like these in my weekly and that's something I'm trying to figure out. Um, but I'll typically save them or just put them in my reusable sticker book anyway. So that's the journaling add-on, also available on Transparent Matte, depending on what your preference is with journaling or your whatever beautiful spread you're making. So here is the tomorrow kit, all the beautiful full boxes. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Love that. Again, the fuzzy foil is so good. Um, all of your quarter boxes. Here you have box galore. Again, so many. I will say, like, just these colors on top of that blue, I would never think to put together. Um, and also, here's another thing. If a kit comes with like three very different colors, right? Like this blue, this pink, and this green, you can totally eliminate like the blues, right? Or, um, and I'm thinking that's something I might do is I don't know if I want to pull in as many blues as I will want to pull in greens and pinks. So we'll see because just looking at this, like I love the full boxes and I might just end up using more of the greens and pinks and pulling other pink boxes from my collection or just pulling all the pinks from here and greens um, and electing not to use like that blue because to me it's a little bit harsh um, with the kind of look I'm, I'm anticipating I want for this spread. So that's also something that you can do when it comes to any kit, by the way. Like if you... Um, I think it's a really good challenge because if you love how the kit looks just normally, like you think it's a very pretty kit, but you're intimidated by one of the colors, definitely try to see if you can elect to not use like those colors and pull in your own from different like collections or different shops um, that might match better because pink is a very like neutral color in this community. Um, and then also I would probably supplement with a ton of like gold foiled boxes that I have in my collection. So I won't you know, I will have plenty of boxes to use because of the collection that I've been able to um, to build throughout the years. But I know that not everybody can do that, right? Like some people will use what they have with the kit because they paid for it and they, they can only use that because that's the only thing that they have or they might not have a very large collection such as myself. And I don't expect that, you know? So I'm just saying it's a good idea if you only um, to look at a kit differently like you can look at this and say I love the pinks and greens But I'm a little bit intimidated by that blue because that's what I'm thinking like I'm intimidated by this blue You know when it comes to it being next to these like pinks and greens um, But just an idea like now I'm wondering I might not be able to use these line headers even though I love line headers because they're blue So I'll have to like play around with it I might only use this for my sidebar because this one is blue it just really, really depends on your preference, um, but you can certainly make a vision come true um, if you just play around with what's offered in a kit. And that's kind of a good example by being intentional about not pulling in a certain color. So um, there's that. I know I just, I, I'm rambling a lot, so hopefully this is helpful <laughs> to someone. <laughs> Here's a beautiful bottom washi. Thankfully, this bottom washi doesn't have like the blue because I probably won't pull it in. And um, I, I love that this is just green and pink. And again, like these are just so, so good. There goes my stomach. Wow, I am so hungry. Okay, so this kit is called Tomorrow. And again, I am in love with this kit. It is so incredibly beautiful. She did a stunning job. And I think what's throwing me off too is because like these florals don't have a lot of that blue in it. So that's probably why I, I might just only use like, um, like these greens, these like peaches and pinks along with... Um, 
you know, keeping these full boxes, of course, because I have to. But yeah, so that is everything. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this haul. I know I rambled a lot, but this is everything from Sadie Stickers. My code with her is Rachel20 for 20% off, and that's my current freebie. It will be changing shortly. So um, that's everything. Thanks for watching this haul. I hope you're all doing well and take care. I'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody.